What is going on YouTube? One only extra mirror, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Look what we have here, V4 Speciality. But today's video is all about this guy. We're on a beautiful 1999 Ducati 996. I've been wanting to get my hands on an older Ducati because they're just so, so unique, and I really want to feel the essence of where that V4 has come from. You've seen my reviews of the V4. Today is all about this bad boy. Now I love this V4 Speciale. I love all the technology that Ducati's put into motorcycles. And it shows everything that they've done so far and every place they're going, they're making these bikes just such, such great machines. But it makes me wonder, have they gone so far away from the DNA and the essence that makes Ducati so great, at least to the person that enjoys the brand and all this extra technology, but also trying to refine a bike that always had a little edge, a little rawness, all that character. Oh no, let's see, let's hop off this V4 Speciale and hop on to this bad boy. 1999 Ducati 996. It's so hard to say 1999 because we've been saying 2000 something for the past 21 years. It's so crazy to think about this year. It's 22 years old but it doesn't feel that old. Oh, <laughs> the power isn't overwhelming by any means. And it handles. Like most Ducatis, they like to be revved out. They don't like 5,000 and 4,000 RPM. They like six, seven higher. And being this doesn't have really any rider aids, it's, it's all you. <laughs> oh, what an experience. There's no quick shift or auto blipper on this bad boy, so shifts come down to you. You have to rev match nicely. You have to click up, and you hear that beautiful clicking noise of that dry clutch, that iconic sound of Ducati. And this is a proper dry clutch, not one that was fitted to a modern bike. We get back on it. Again, the shifting's all you. Oh, the vibrations. <laughs> they said the essence of Ducati is the full visceral experience. And that's what's missing nowadays. The sound of the motor, the feel that you get from the engine, the dry clutch clackling away. It's such a great feeling, and this bike provides it in strobes. There's so much of it. It leans in effortlessly. It feels light, even though I'm pretty sure this isn't that light. I believe this thing produces around 120 horsepower and about 63 or 68 pound-feet of torque. I love, I love the rawness of it. You know, I've complained I almost say complained, but I mentioned how I don't like motorcycles that feel too refined, that make everything so freaking easy, like the BMW S1000RR. Insanely good bike, but everything feels so damn simple with that. And you might be thinking, well, why wouldn't you want simple? Like, because I love the riding experience. And to me, my favorite riding experience is feeling the road, feeling the vibrations. Feeling that true sensation of speed. I mean, listen to this thing just chatter away. It's so crazy. And I tell you what, uh, what I really, really dig about this transmission, no, there's not a quick shift or auto blipper, but there's such a mechanical feel to it. Like you feel the click on the upshifts and you really feel that click and detail on the downshift. Like you know for sure that you're going up a gear and down a gear. It's got such great feedback in that regard. The throttle, which is interesting to me, is incredibly smooth. You know, I had the 1199, 1299, now the V4, and the throttle's always been a little twitchy. It hasn't been quite like you twist it and then it does exactly what you expected. You twist it and then it would do something or what, and then it would do something. So to have a throttle like this on a bike that's 22 years old, 
I love it. People need to experience these older style Ducatis because they give such a crazy experience. But God, I just love the mechanical connection that this motorcycle has with everything. Those brakes, the clutch, everything. It's so good. It's so manual. And look at our little thing. <laughs> so I've done plenty of reviews on the V4, especially the V4 Speciality. You know I love the technology in it, but much like the NSX video, I wanted to go back in time. I wanted to really understand where that bike came from. And to do that, Brenda was so gracious to let me borrow her gorgeous 1999 Ducati 996. This motorcycle is mechanical. That is how you describe it. Everything has a great feel to it. The transmission, like I described as I'm riding it, just got this click. You know that you're going down in gear. You know that you're going up in gear. The brakes, they're solid. You know, they don't have the crazy touch that the V4 Speciality does, but it doesn't need it. The way this twin picks up speed, it's, it's almost effortless. You know, it does need to be revved, and that's kind of indicative of most of the V-twins. This bike has such a timeless look to it. You know, like I had the NSX's, the 2002 was timeless. You wanted to stare at it, it was stunning. The 996 is the same way. The other part of it that's gonna make it timeless is the gauge cluster. You know, we love these beautiful TFT displays around the V4s, but those are gonna get dated. You're gonna look at those and be like, oh my God, I can't believe we had something that old and god awful looking. But because these are dials and they're that old analog, it's never gonna lose its style. It's always gonna look good. And you know, in another 20 years, God forbid we don't get rid of all the gas engines, this bike is still gonna stand the test of time. So Brenda, the owner, really put a lot of carbon fiber parts on this bike and one of those is your carbon fiber rims it really reduces that unsprung weight and you can tell because this bike is so narrow and it's not the lightest but you can feel how easy it is to transition between turns and i love these style of bst rims they look so good on this bike i don't think they look quite as good on the v4 it's not that style of motorcycle but on this, adorned with all this carbon, absolutely stunning. The riding position's a little cramped. It's not meant for someone six foot. It's definitely meant for someone around five, six, because you don't have a lot of real estate here. You're very wristy. You can feel you're up farther on your wrist when you're actually riding than with the V4, where you're a little farther back. You got a little more arm stretch with it and a little more real estate. And what I really enjoyed with the 996 is you feel like you're within the bike. And as the V4s have grown, they're wider now. And something I miss about the older Ducatis is that narrowness, that lightness, where you're like, okay, this doesn't feel like a BMW. It doesn't feel like Kawasaki, where it's got that girth. She's a slim Italian beauty. So again, brakes. I can't gloss over any motorcycle, any car without talking about the brakes because they're so important to me. The feel of them is very good. They're strong, but they're not bitey. Like you grab the brake and they start to slow down and then there's some power, you feel it. They got a ton of confidence in them and I love, even though these are again, 22 year old style Brembo brakes, they're on par with what's out there today. Everything about this 996 is that it's balanced and it's easy, but it still gives you that visceral experience, the vibrations, the sounds, the chatter. It gives you a really pure sense of speed that newer bikes just are getting away from. They give you that almost video game like feel and it's so great to go back. I can't thank Brenda enough for letting me ride this thing. I love it. I love that feeling. And that's what gets me into riding. It's not just the speed. Every bike's fast nowadays. What else does it give you? What character does it have? This has that character that you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a blast filming with the 996 and with the V4 Speciality at the same time, jumping back and forth between them. Took a little learning curve to figure out the clutch. I think I stalled that right after hopping off of this one. But man, what a fun time. If you've never ridden an old Ducati, I highly recommend it because it really lets you know where these bikes came from. And they're so, so much fun. But with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.